Okay, nope. <sighs> Turns out silver's really hard to break with your hands. Hello, welcome to coin time. If you saw the thumbnail, you know what you're getting into. This is an exclusive coin from JM Bullion called the Pop Bullion. Pop, like pop cereal or something, or Danny Pops. It is meant to be cut into four pieces. If you watch their video on it, they show themselves using a little clamp with a padded cloth to break it in. So it sounds like it's supposed to be broken. So we're gonna try and break it and also maybe try and cut this thing. The irony of this is that this coin has already sold out at JM Bullion and it's going for significantly more on eBay. Uh, now I'm kind of regretting that I was gonna break this because it might be worth more. This is for science and it's for you. So we're gonna do this. You can see that it has delineations on the inside here that's meant to be broken. Um, this is not a foreign concept at all. In fact, I just did a video about Irish coins a little bit ago where Greg Thompson talked to me about how people would cut coins into four pieces. So a half of this would be a half penny and a quarter would be a fourth of a penny or a farthing, a farth of a penny. So let's just see, like, is this thing even breakable? with just my hands. I really doubt it is. Look at how thick that section of the reed is. Like this does not look like it's gonna be easy to break. So <laughs> here we go. And I just try and do it with my hands. <sighs> no, it's not happening. Cause you're gonna have to break it in half first. <sighs> I'm literally using all of my strength. <sighs> okay, nope. <sighs> Turns out silver's really hard to break with your hands. So before we cut anything, we probably should weigh this first. 31.2 is about right for this coffee scale. So that means that when we divide it into four pieces, everything should weigh about 7.8. Okay, what you can't see is I'm actually trying to cut it. Any mark? Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a mark there. You can kind of see. It is definitely not an easy cut though. God, I'm already screwing this thing up. Let's see. This is very painful to do to silver. It feels like you're defacing it. But if you're in a bind and you don't have a freaking clamp, what else are you gonna do? So you can see I've got it in there. Let's see if I do it. Okay. <laughs> Crap. It's getting there? A little bit. This is a pain in the ass. <coughs> little baby snip. <coughs> Did it cut through? You know, silver is tough to cut through. It's not easy. Let's try these. These are a little tinier. <coughs> Did it go? I'm so glad everyone could watch me suffer. I'm trying to cut this. Holy crap, okay. Cutting it is not the best way to go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try this chisel clamp. See if I can hammer this down. All right, give this a few knocks. I don't know if it did anything. Okay, it looks like this side is finally starting to crack. Yep, I'm able to do it finally. Oh, finally, and the, the break is pretty good. Ah, that feels terrible to have broken this coin. It goes against everything I feel like I'm, you know, I'm supposed to do. Yes, here we go. And separated. 31.2, so we're looking at about 7.8 for each of these. And we didn't break them perfectly, which is probably realistic. 7.9, that's pretty close. Pretty close for that 7.8, that's within the error possibility. 7.8, 7.8, okay, that's pretty impressive. That The fact that it's hitting 7.8 and that we just jimmy rigged a way to break these apart, it's actually working well. So let's try all four of them and see how much they weigh if we lost anything. We didn't. We really didn't lose anything significant. So even though the, you know, the edges are a little rough and stuff, like that's pretty much the, the difference is pretty much minimal, especially for silver.
If this was gold, maybe this would be a bigger deal, but you definitely cannot break these apart with your hands. Uh, so that is literally a quarter ounce of silver in total. That actually works. I'm actually very impressed by this. So uh, yeah, these are probably going to be a collector's item now, ironically, versus actually being a useful item that people want to break because they're going for much more than they were. They're already sold out at JM Bullion. Um, I'm so glad we were able to break this. It was kind of hard though. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.